This year's canola harvest is expected to be one of the largest in almost a decade. With big yields and good grain prices, farmers across the region are in a much better situation than previous years. However, recent rain has meant some crops have been downgraded. Wet weather is also causing delays across both Victoria and South Australia. For Craig Birkinshaw, harvesting will be a long, slow process this year, but after nearly a decade of drought, it's been a bumper season. Cropping so growing has been fantastic, but we, we have lost a fair bit under flood, so you've gone from drought to, to water conditions where it's washed crops away, so we've lost you know, a couple of hundred hectares of uh, crop underwater. Harvesting around 1,100 hectares of canola, barley and wheat, Mr Birkinshaw says while yields are high, quality is low. Yield prospects for this canola crop improving over the season. With good grain prices due to drought in Russia, farmers are expecting good return. Probably a one-lifetime uh, event really where we've seen uh, great yields mixed with pretty good prices. They're definitely a lot better than they were at, at uh, sowing time. Cooler weather and rain has delayed harvests across the Riverina. The wet spring has also meant it's taking twice as long to harvest and strip paddocks. Moving at around 4 kilometres an hour, this header would be doing between 8 and 10 kilometres during a normal season. It's trying to get through this damp, rubbery canola when it would normally snap and break up easily like this. With rain forecast for this weekend, further harvest delays are expected. These headers will most likely be going up until Christmas before the crops are fully stripped from these paddocks. After the canola is unloaded, it will be transported to the silos at the Rock for export to overseas markets. Port capacity in Port Campbell is booked out until about April, I think. Uh, so, yeah, there will be a very strong export program this year. At this stage, prospects for summer crops are good, despite a wet start to the season. Sarah Bunnell, Wind News.